With skillful hand With skillful hand With skillful hands The Roman scribe with skillful hand Perpetuated the changes With skillful hand With skillful hand With skillful hands The Roman scribe with skillful hand Perpetuated the changes For the purpose of destroying any connection of the origins of their works and the origins of their saviors to the myths, allegories, fables, and symbols of our ancestors' spiritual sciences. Some of the most conspicuous changes made to the ancient tenets of African spirituality through the principles of unitary law were the S-U-N of the universe became the only begotten S-O-N of God. John 3 and 16. The 12 celestial gates or metaphysically speaking, the cosmic grid of Earth's third density space-time consciousness zone called the 12 signs of the zodiac became the 12 apostles of their gospel Jesus. Three. <laughs> Got to. <laughs> I, I, I gotta hurt some Christians up in here today. I'm sorry. Sometimes the truth cuts, you know. They copied the scrolls of Hesus from the Druids. They copied the story of Krishna from the Dravidian manuscript. They copied the story of Orpheus from the Etruscans. The story of Mithras from the Persians, who we call Chris. They copied the story of Bel Minor from the Chaldeans. They copied the story of Eau, Eau from the ancient EU people, from which the northern Caucasoid race called the Khazars plagiarized and renamed themselves Jews when their king converted in the 7th century. They copied the mythos of Jason and the Argonauts from the Greeks. They copied Jess, the Redeemer, from the Phoenicians. Tammuz, Bacchus, Dionysus, Hercules, but just as important as their plagiarization of Krishna. They outright stole the entire story of Heru from the Kemites. Heru the Redeemer. Gerald Massey again found 137 similarities between Jesus and Horus. Each and every one of the above characters and more from different ages and time periods all were known as the Cleese of the Christ or the Anointed One. With the creation of this new state church, yes, my beloved Christian brothers and sisters, I'm talking to you now. They copied, interpolated, twisted, and outright distorted all of the ancient spiritual stories on record to use as the foundational premise of a special book they were preparing, their in-house manual, a book that was to become known in the Greek as the Helios Biblios, the Book of the Sun, more commonly known through his Protestant translator and editor, one Sir Francis Bacon, a.k.a. William Shakespeare, Edward de Vere, as the King James Version of your daily Bible or your holy Bible or your holy Bible. Now, to make their distortions of the African spiritual sciences less conspicuous and less recognizable to the more diligent inquiring minds, they made the Bible into an ingeniously well-crafted work of, listen carefully, fables factualized, allegories literalized, symbols personalized, drama historicized, and cosmic forces anthropomorphized. Let me say that again. This is all your Bible is. Fables, factualized. Allegories, literalized. Symbols, personalized. Drama, historicized. And cosmic forces, anthropomorphized.